My hair looks like this because I had my hair in plaits all week. I've just been wearing my half wigs, wigs that I can plop on and off every day, okay? I ain't gluing nothing down, I ain't sewing nothing down, none of it. been wearing my half wigs I have not been manipulating my hair or doing too much to my hair on my scalp during this time because I really want to focus on being able to get to my scalp and treating my scalp okay pause before we go any further with the video hi I'm Mache and welcome to my channel quick hair update I currently have a really bad scalp psoriasis flare-up probably the worst I've had in my entire adult life then I think I have a pretty solid wash day routine down pat so you know I had to share it with you guys in hopes that it will help you too now back to the video. So I have been wearing a lot of wigs. I would like to stop wearing wigs. I, I miss my twists, y'all. I miss my braids. And I want to put in another protective style. But I can't because my scalp looks crazy right now. Like, my scalp has never, ever been this bad to where I'm concerned, okay? At least not since I've been taking care of my hair myself. And I've been taking care of my hair myself since high school. All right, so first I'm just going to show you what it's looking like right now. I just took it out of the twist. I have not detangled my hair at all. As you all know, I love a good pre-poo to detangle. But before I do that, I'm just gonna show you what my scalp looks like right now. It looks crazy. Even when I do this, flakes. It's snowing over here. I'll be the first one to say my diet has not been the best. I haven't been drinking enough water and I've been consuming way too much dairy. Life has been lifing, and I'm sure as adults, we all know how that can be. So I think my diet and the way I have improperly processed stress the past couple months are what caused this flare-up. I'm using a comb to lift the flakes so you can see how bad my scalp is. But please don't do this. I'm only doing this for example purposes, but you can see that the scraping is really irritating my scalp. If y'all don't learn anything else from this video, Please remember this and let it be a lesson. Drink absurd amounts of water. And I'm not going to say don't let life stress you out because stress is a part of life. But don't harbor stress. Try not to hold it in your body. Find a way to process and release stress in a healthy way. I'm still trying to figure out what that looks like for me and it is now becoming a more important thing for me to discover in this new year. Like around here, the perimeter. It's really tight. All these flakes are in my actual hair, which is why I have not been wearing my hair out because they get caught in my hair as they're lifting from my scalp. And it's not cute. I'm gonna start with the detangling pre-poo. I wanna soothe my scalp while hydrating my hair. I have an aloe, nice, this nice slimy part. Ugh, I love that part. I got a hair in a bowl and I'm just going to get that all over my hair. For this aloe pre-poo, I took an aloe leaf, peeled and cut it, then blended it and strained it. I part my hair into four sections and begin applying the aloe. I focus the product onto my scalp and massage it in, then work the product through the rest of my hair. Once I've worked the aloe in, I detangle with a wide tooth comb. All the natural girlies love aloe for its moisturizing properties on the hair, but I love its moisturizing and healing properties on the scalp. It has become a holy grail product for my scalp psoriasis. Its moisturizing properties can help soften the skin and scaly patches associated with plaque psoriasis, and because psoriatic skin is easily irritated and traumatized, the aloe can help heal any wounds and sores, which is my personal favorite benefit from using aloe. Couple pro tips I would suggest to elevate this pre-poo treatment is to add an oil and make sure the pre-poo is warm. That way you get a better slip on your hair for detangling. Your hair shaft and the pores on your scalp will be open and can absorb the aloe better. I 
I have finished applying the aloe and I just love how my hair looks and feels. My hair looks shiny and feels moisturized. The pre poo definitely soothed my scalp as well. So I'm just going to let this sit on my head for 20 minutes and then I'm going to wash it out with some warm water and then I will be back to going with the next step. I love a good ACV rinse so that is what I'm going to put in my hair next you can balance the pH in your hair and in your scalp and this is really good for scalp psoriasis I have been faithfully using this for years and I do strongly believe that this has played a big part in keeping my flare-ups at bay so I do this and my shampoo in one step this is what I'm going to use to kind of wet my hair and then I'm going to go right on top of it with this shampoo and then the shampoo I am using is the Nizerol Scalp Psoriasis Shampoo and Conditioner with Tea Tree Oil. First, I spray the ACV rinse directly onto my scalp. I do suggest using a spray bottle that has a stream nozzle. I then massage it and work it through my hair. Then I immediately go on top of it with the shampoo, once again massaging it into my scalp. Apple cider vinegar is really good for balancing the pH in the hair and scalp. It is also a really good detangler. My hair literally feels like butter when I use it. Another wash day pro tip. If you are prone to single strand knots like me, try this technique. Hold the section of your hair taut so that you can get easy access to massage your scalp without your hair getting in the way. This technique also keeps your hair detangled throughout the washing process. Let's go wash this out. I'll be right back. The conditioner that I'm going to be using is the Eden Body Works Hair Mask Treatment from their Coconut Shane line. Love this stuff. In the co-wash, hold me down, y'all. I'm gonna be mixing this with an oil, avocado oil. Cause you know your girl, we combine the steps. Okay, so I realized something. I think I'm going to use the aloe first because I kind of want to get some moisture locked into my scalp. That way I can kind of massage it into my scalp without getting the conditioner clogged in my pores. I begin by re-wetting my hair with some water. Then I apply the aloe again, focusing the application to my scalp and massaging it in. Then I take a nice dollop of conditioner and warm it up in my hands. Add some of the avocado oil, rub them together, and then apply it to my hair. I do another round of detangling and this time I separate each section in half again to detangle a smaller portion at a time. This makes the detangling process a little easier for me. Next, I take a shower cap and poke holes into the top of it. I put the cap on and get under my steamer. Sometimes I steam with a shower cap, sometimes I don't. It just depends on how I'm feeling. But if you do use a shower cap, the trick is to poke the holes in it so the moisture can physically get to your hair and that the cap itself will help trap the heat in so your hair can absorb the moisture. And this is my hair after washing out the conditioner. My scalp is clean, my hair is juicy, my curls are popping. It's the perfect wash day results. If you like these results, I'm gonna need you to do me a favor. Go on ahead and like this video. Let me know if you have or will try any of these wash day techniques. Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. God bless.